What's up, modern steaders? We got a few little projects we want to do today, and then we're gonna go for a hike down by the lake. Even modern steaders need to take some time off and have some fun, right? What are you doing, Pluto? You look hot. Are you hot? A little bit? Camera shy? How's the garden looking? Uh, Woohoo! Those are the heirloom ones. Yeah. I forget what variety these are, but yeah, they're gonna be goofy looking tomatoes. They're gonna have the ribs in them like that. That is really deformed. Cause that's two of them growing together right there. That's what happened on that one. I forget the varieties we planted, but yeah, that's a nice looking one. Also do better like better next year with that. That's right. They're growing nice this year. We can't complain. I think that's from all. In there, yeah, we'll have to add some more compost so it doesn't pack down so hard when it rains. The part that I'm really encouraged about is we have tomatoes growing before we even have any summer squash or zucchini. That's an awesome score for us up here in northern New Hampshire. What are we going to do? We need to unscrew the 2x8s and pry them off the concrete. But don't destroy them because we want to be able to save them and reuse them. Alright, now we'll go to the other corner and get that one freed up. Let's see how easy these come out now. It sounds like it's gonna come out easy to me. What? We have to go around and flush that all up with the sledge here. Moving. You should have did two. Uh, is it one whole piece? It is. Wow. Next time do two. No, because then it won't stay together as easy. Yeah. You don't want the form blowing apart when you got wet concrete in there. That wouldn't be good. way down here. Leverage is your friend. Is it pretty? Who oh, is pretty? I thought it was going to look all chipped up. My tape record your foreman. <laughs> Which one? I got three. Oh. Pluto. Supervising. That one came out easy. What's that? That one came out easy. Where are you going with it? Oh, with all the other ones. How many more does he have? One. Yeah, I don't know. 
keep going. You push, I'll pull. Good job, Olivia. All right, watch out for I get you. Nice. Good job. Thank you. Nice edges. You have a dance party? Go for it. Have a dance party, lovies. Break it in. Give us a dance party. What do we got? Right here, look at that little tiny thing. Oh, a little tiny zucchini. Oh, oh right here too. Oh, we got some zucchinis growing. This is what I've been looking for. That's summer squash. But I'd rather have zucchini. Oh, look at oh, them what, all. What? Look at them all. Where? Right here. One. Oh, look at it. So cute. So exciting. Once those start, they go fast. We got some more down on this one. I see it on the end one. Boom! Ooh, that was a big one. We'll be eating that one Those in like a week. There. Those were not there. Look at this one all twisted. All twisted up. Yep. What is that a snake? What's that? What a snake? No. I'm scared. So I think right here is ginseng. Oh, all those berries? Yeah, I think that's a ginseng plant. Right here. We have I've seen them on other spots of the property too. I think this right here is a ginseng plant. So I don't want to weed whack that down. I guess if the pigs eat it, the pigs eat it, but those should be see, ginseng roots. It. What's that? Oh, that's all one thing. So if you know if that's ginseng or not, leave it in the comments down below. I would love to hear what you think about it. Or what you do with it. Or, like Gina said, what we can do with it. Because they're ginseng. They're those ones ginseng, but those ones are green. Not ripe yet, must be. Ready to go hiking? I guess so. You guess so. Why you don't want to go to the lake? Yes, I do. Okay, let's go. We'll go check out the water and the driftwood. Because it's drifting in the water. Somebody had a little campfire. I bet you this would make a nice little fishing spot. You don't want to come out in the Driftwood Island? That breeze feels nice! 